Then live look out in New York City, and that's where we want to stay for this next story. A very brutal murder at a bus stop in Brooklyn. Ryan Carson, a 32-year-old activist, stabbed in front of his girlfriend. For more details on what happened and how the community is remembering Carson, we're joined by Fox 5 New York's Kendall Green. Kendall, tell us about what happened. Have police made an arrest? Hey, good evening, Carell. Getting uh, justice in the death of Ryan Carson is a top priority for NYPD tonight. He was sitting right here at this bus stop with his girlfriend before being brutally stabbed. And detectives, they tell us that they're closer than ever to naming a suspect in the case. Video obtained by the New York Post shows Monday's horrific stabbing death of New York social justice advocate Ryan Carson just before 4 a.m. It's as awful a thing as you can imagine uh, in a world where too much violence occurs. Uh, to see it happen to someone who's you're close with uh, is, of course, you know, brutal. Blair Horner, a colleague and friend of Carson, has been helping loved ones through a tough week. He describes Ryan as a warm, charismatic rising star at the nonprofit where he worked. A larger than life character. He was a big guy, had a big laugh, sort of gentle giant category. Monday morning, Carson was at the bus stop with his girlfriend on Malcolm X Boulevard in Lafayette Avenue when they encountered a man in a black champion hoodie seen on camera acting erratically. The male in the hoodie suddenly stops and begins to kick and damage mopeds and scooters that were parked on the sidewalk. Police say he then turned his attention to Carson, questioning what he was looking at before he pulled out a knife and charged at the couple. Carson fell to the ground before being stabbed to death three times once in the heart. As Mr. Carson lay dying on the sidewalk, the male with the knife kicks him in the chest, threatens to stab the woman companion, and spits in her face. Police are looking to question a woman they believe is the suspect's girlfriend. They think the two had an argument preceding the stabbing. Video shows the woman reappearing to apparently apologize to the couple muttering the name Brian. Meanwhile, loved ones have started a GoFundMe campaign asking for help on behalf of his partner in easing the burden and stress following the deadly attack. Now, police have been working around the clock to get every detail they can, namely the suspect's girlfriend who saw this whole thing unfold, who could add some clarity to this whole entire case. That's the latest from New York City. Kendall Green, Fox 5 News. Kendall, thank you so much for giving us that update. Just very horrible video to take a look, and we look forward to any new details that we get here at Live Now.